All right, so today we're going to take a look at what a stereotypical pitcher looks like at each level of college baseball. So we're going to start with a Division I. So a Division I pitcher can throw 84 miles an hour consistently. And of course, at D1 level, they're going to get up as high as 95 plus. The big thing about a D1 pitcher, they're going to have at least three pitches that they can command. What that means is they're able to hit their spots with those, all three pitches basically on, on demand whenever they want. If you got to have complete control of all three pitches. Now, as far as where, you, where you've been in the high school level or when you're playing travel ball, you're consistently under a 2.0 ERA. You can have at least one strikeout per inning pitched, and you walk less than one batter per two innings pitched. That just gives you a basic outline of what a D1 pitcher will look like so you can measure yourself up. Now, let's look at the D2 level. At the D2 level, you're pitching about 82 to 90 miles per hour. Some guys can get a little bit higher. depends on the D2 school because there's some higher end D2s that will want you to be at a higher miles per hour. But overall, uh, D2 pitchers looking about 82 to 90 miles an hour. Um, you're going to have the fastball. Plus, you're going to have control of at least one off-speed pitch. And then one additional pitch that you throw that you can hit on, on average. Sometimes you can hit it consistently. So you got work to do, but you can get there. Basically, your ERA is going to be below three. You're, again, you're around one uh, strikeout per inning, and you're going to walk around one batter per every two innings pitched. That's about a rough stereotype of what a D2 pitcher looks like. Then we're going to look at a Division three or an NAIA pitcher. A Division three or an NAIA pitcher, they're going to be anywhere between 77 miles per hour up to 82. Obviously, some guys at, the, at that level are throwing faster, but 77 to 82 miles per hour. They're going to have control of at least one off-speed pitch, and then they're working on developing a third pitch. Um, they're going to strike out to walk ratio is one to one. So basically they'll walk one batter for every one strikeout, which means you're not usually striking out one per inning as you saw in the D2 and the D1. And their ERA is fluctuating between 2.5 and 3.5. That's roughly where your ERA is. Now this is just a basic stereotypical uh, look at what pitchers look like at each level, just to give everybody an idea of where you are and where you think compared to where you maybe you think you are. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of other little things that college coaches will be looking for that could help you uh, go up a level or cost you to go down a level, depending. But I just wanted to give you a basic overview of what a D1, a D2, and a D3 NAIA slash NAIA pitcher looks like. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, appreciate it. Thanks.